Hey there, it's me Jadron, and previously I've talked about the basics of center of mass and in this video I'm going to talk about how to find the center of mass so this video is more to the practical side and also I'm going to use this physics course book that I'm using right now to teach this chapter this physics course book is suitable for IGCSE students who are taking their final exams. And furthermore, I'm going to share my notes under the description down below. So this page, in the previous video, I have talked about the states of equilibrium. And I'm going to go to new page. So we can find the center of mass without the formula. Let's say this is a wood, a wood, and we have a card, a pentagon card, which is it has five sides in it. Just draw it nicely. So we have a pentagon card, and we hang it on the wood. Okay. We hang it using a pin, a pin, okay, so this will be our pivot point, our pivot point. I'm just going to use blue color, okay, our pivot. And the center of mass of this card is here. Okay. So as long as you hang it with the pin or anything else, the card will try to tries to have a turning effect until the center of mass lies below the pivot, which causes no turning effect. So this will be our first diagram, first picture. Our second picture or second drawing and again a wood a wood and our cut a pentagon cut which has five sides in it okay this is just a rough drawing of it Okay, our pivot. Okay, this is our pivot. Our pivot. Oops, let me just erase this. So this will be our pivot. And the center of mass is here. So what do you realize? So what can you see? for this picture number one and picture number two. The picture number one is when you hang it and as soon as you release your hand, if you hang it, you release your hand, the picture number one, the pentagon cut, we have a turning effect of clockwise movement. Okay, turning effect of clockwise movement. The reason is because whenever you hang an object, the object will try to move the position of the center of mass below the pivot. This occurs only you have one pivot point. So and again, I will draw a line here. And can you see the distance right here? The distance, there is distance. So F, so T equals T, Te equals to f times d. The perpendicular distance occurs, and there is force, right? Because there is mass and gravitational acceleration, which is gravity pull. We have force, and as soon as you have the d here, there will be turning effect. And the picture number two here, the pen, the pentagon cut. If I draw a line, a straight line, there will be no turning effect because Te equals to force we have force but we do not have the distance because there is no distance so zero turning effect times zero which is zero but we can find the center of mass in the better way 
let's say if you hang a string, let me just erase this. Okay, let's say if we hang a string, a string, if we hang a string, so normally if we hang a string, the string will not be straight, it will be like crooked. So what can we do is that normally if we do this type of things, we will put an, an heavy object to straighten the string. So after we have so after we have hanged a string, we have straightened it, we can draw a line, a line here. And I will draw the third picture. It's the same. Let me just name this as A and B, okay? A and B, this point to this point, it's B. No, this point, it's A and this point, it's B, okay? So what happens if we hang another side, another side, let's say, let's say if you hang it like this, it is the same five sided card It's the same card. It's just that I've changed, I have changed the position. We hang it with a pin, anything, and the sense of mass will be here. And we hang a string again, we hang a string, we hang a string, and put a heavy object to straighten the string. So if we draw a line, let me just label this as C and D. Okay, if we hang a line here, if we draw a line, the line will passes the sense of mass. And the point A and B, it's here, it's, yeah, it's here. So if in diagram 2, you have drawn a line, it will be like this, okay? If we draw a line like this, if two lines intersect each other, the point of intersection will be the center of mass because the center of mass always causes no turning effect. The cut will try the cut will try to change the orientation or the position of the center of mass below the pivot if you if you have only one pivot point okay so let us just try another example another example just remember that the center of mass causes no turning effect which means there is no perpendicular distance from the point and again, I'm going to draw a wood or a beam as long as it hangs things on it. So let us just try a square, a square cut, a square cut. Okay, if I hang it like this, it looks like a diamond. And this will be our P word point. Okay, so this time I will not draw the sense of mass out because I know I can find it in this way. I will just label this as one. So the, so the first step, I have hung this square cut on the beam, the wood. So I will draw the same thing again. Okay. Okay. So notice that after I have hung this square card on the wood or beam, the card will try to have a turning effect until the sense of mass lies below the pivot, which means the card will try to change its orientation or the position to no turning effect. What do I mean here is that it's either this card is going to have a anti-clockwise moment or clockwise moment, but in this case, 
it will have clockwise moment. So after it has a clockwise moment, it will be like this. So I will hang a string here. I will hang a string. Let me just draw it nicer. I will hang a string. I will put a heavy object here. And after I have hanged this string, I will draw a line. I will draw a line. A line like this. A line. And right here, I do not know where is the sense of mass. It can be either here or either here or even here. So what can I do is that I will hang it another string. It's like a graph. If you have two graph intersects each other, there will be the point of intersection or the in or the intersection point. So I'm just going to erase this real quick. And the third one. Right now in this case, right now in this diagram too, I do know where is the sense of mass, but I know it lies on this line. And I'm going to label this the same thing. I'm going to name it as this this corner here, I will call it is as A, and this corner I will call it as B. So right now I'm going to hang in a different corner A B C C and D, yeah, C and D. So right now I'm going to hang from point C, which means my point B will, will come to here. Point B and point A, so A, B, C, D. The same, the pivot is here, and I'm going to hang a string, hang a string, and I will put a very heavy object as long as the object, it straightens the string so right now after i have hung this string i can draw a line after i've draw a line wait so i will draw a line a line here like this but but in diagram 2 i have drawn one line which is a to b a to b so right here i can see the sense of mass the sense of mass it's right here the point of intersection intersection point okay so basically we can find the sense of mass without a formula if we do experiment like this and furthermore if you are an IGCSE student these types of practical question will most likely to appear in your paper 6 and if you are taking the core version, will be your paper 5. If you are going to take the extended version like me, I took the extended version. This type of practical question will most likely to appear in your paper 6. So the whole story is simple. As long as you have one line and you have another line, maybe this line can be like this. It can be like this. It can be like this. As long as the line crosses each other. And if you want to enhance your results, which means you want to minimize the human error, you can do more experiment on this thing, and the result will still the same. All of those lines will intersect at one point, which is here. And remember, the center of mass causes no turning effect. So as long as there is no distance between the pivot, there is no turning effect. So that's it for this video. If you have this physics course book that I had shown just now, because most students will have this physics course book, if you have it, just go to your page 60 and you will find this diagram. And I hope you have understood what I had explained just now. And do remember to subscribe to my channel to enhance my YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.